Hello friend, welcome to this session of learning R and in this session we are going to see how to get interactive plots like this. When I hover my cursor over this box plot, I can see all the elements of the box plot. Next box, next box, that max value is there, quantile 3 is there, median value, quantile 1, uh, lower fence uh, that is 5.60 that is actually 1 and that minimum 4.90 is the outlier here. Uh, I can select which box to be shown versicolor is not being shown virginica is not shown only setosa is shown if i want to sh show all this i will double click all those plots are there navigation symbols are there i can zoom on the plots select that zoom is there i can revert back and many other facilities are also there if i go here you can see that this plot is provided using me plotly.js version 2.11.1 i don't have to learn js to get this interactive plot how to get such plots i will show you we will see many different plots here. We need ggplot object to convert it to interactive plot. For that I will call library ggplot2. Run that and ggplot I will plot using iris dataset ggplot function then dataset iris. Aesthetic I will go first for the monovariate plot. Therefore sepal dot length variable I am mapping to the x variable and fill uh, the three spaces are there in iris data therefore i will uh, just add the fill attribute or map the fill attribute to spaces variable then i will go for the geom geom density monovariate uh, plot distribution will be shown here and these three uh, densities will get overlapped with each other because overlap we can see here in box plot also and to resolve that overlap to see that overlap clearly we will uh, control alpha to 0 0.6 that transparency alpha is transparency we control that to 0 0.6 and theme I will make as classic to make plot like this theme classic and run that and uh, now this plot is not interactive I will save that plot as plot object control P uh, P and will ask it to print that P and this P is not interactive when I hover my mouse over here, you can you will not see any tooltip uh, text there. To make it interactive, I will call library plotly because library plotly will provide me the function ggplotly, and this ggplotly function is actually uh, that JavaScript plot. It will uh, convert the p object or uh, ggplot2 object to uh, JavaScript object and i will add that p as input to the ggplotly function and you can see that plot has got converted to interactive one and i can hide setosa i can hide versicolor also i can hide virginica also and if i require all those back i will double click on the legend and i can uh, zoom out also i can get back all those plots also many things we can do with this plot and much customization is also possible uh, if i take my cursor here on the ggplotly function then in the yellow box we can see uh, what more we can add uh, what more code we can add to make this plot as uh, as per our requirements and uh, the same code i will just copy here and we'll go for the next plot this library plot is not required now this density i will change to histogram rest code will remain the same and we'll see interactive histogram and here interactive histogram is there it doesn't look much good but still it's a interactive one and the same code i will use to get interactive box plot also interactive box plot bar plot scatter plot all those can also be made uh, interactive and this time i will require one categorical variable as x axis the sepal length will become y axis and we will run that the same code will give us a uh, interactive box plot now when we pass it through ggplotly function it will become interactive and this interactive plot is there Okay. and you can see your plots are there in plots non interactive plots and interactive plots are there in viewer because interactive plots are html objects and those can be rendered very well in uh, html now uh, this uh, 
box plot will convert to violin plot and we'll see how violin interactive violin plots look like violin and this violin plot is there interactive violin plot is there in the viewer in plot non interactive version is there in viewer we have the interactive version with all the uh, plotly or uh, this uh, plotly.js uh, attributes provided now we'll make that as a scatter plot and for scatter plot two numeric variables are required this spaces i will change to sepal dot width and this spaces to the fill attribute now i'll change as i am going for the points i will change that to color and this geom while in i will change to geom point and now we'll run that we'll get a interactive scatter plot non interactive version is here in the uh, plot pane and in viewer we see the interactive version uh, you can have bar plot you can have any plot get converted to a plotly object interactive plot object and plotly library is a very big library it provides many charting function many plotting functions for use very easily you can make your plots interactive by using ggplotly function just you have to get a ggplot and put that ggplot as argument to the ggplotly function and uh, that's all uh, for this video if you have like this video please click like button subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet because my channel require more viewers and more subscribers share this channel with your friends thanks thanks for watching this video